More than a dozen mysterious prehistoric tunnels have been found in Cornwall, England, that are unique in the British Isles. No one knows why Iron Age people created them. The fact that the ancients supported their tops and sides with stone suggests that they wanted them to endure and that they have for about 2,400 years. Many of the Fogus, as they're called in Cornish after the word for cave, Ogo, were excavated by antiquarians who didn't keep records, so their purpose is hard to fathom. The landscape of Cornwall is covered with hundreds of ancient stone, man-made features, including enclosures, cliff castles, roundhouses, ramparts and forts. In terms of stone monuments, the Cornwall countryside has barrows, menhas, dolmens, kens and of course stone circles. In addition, there are 13 inscribed stones. Obviously, all of this monument building did not take place at the same time. Man has been leaving his mark on the surface of the planet for thousands of years, and each civilization has had its own method of honoring their dead and all their deities. The site says Cornwall has 74 Bronze Age structures, 80 from the Iron Age, 55 from the Neolithic, and 1 from the Mesolithic. In addition, there are 9 Roman sites and 24 post-Roman. The Mesolithic dates from 8000 to 4500 BC, so people have been occupying this southwestern peninsula of Britain for a long, long time. About 150 generations of people worked the land there. But it's believed the Fogus date to the Iron Age, which lasted from about 700 BC to 43 AD. Though they're unique, the Fogu tunnels of Cornwall are similar to Ceterains in Scotland, Ireland, Normandy and Brittany. The focus required considerable investment of time and resources and no one knows why they would have done so. It's interesting to note that all 14 of the focus have been found within the confines of prehistoric settlements. Because the society was preliterate, there are no written records that explain the enigmatic structures. There are only a couple that have been excavated in modern times, and they don't seem to be structures that really easily give up their secrets. The mystery of their construction is amplified at Haligi Fogu, the best preserved such tunnel in Cornwall. It measures 1.8 meters high. The 8.4 meter long passage narrows at its end in a tunnel 4 meters long and 0.75 meter tall. Another tunnel 27 meters 88.6 feet long branches off to the left of the main chamber and gets darker the farther in one goes. At the end of this passage that has stone lip upon which one could trip. In other words, none of it seemed designed for easy access, a characteristic that's as emblematic of Fogus as it is perplexing. Some have speculated they were places to hide, though the lintels of many of them are visible on the surface. Still others have speculated they were burial chambers. An antiquarian who entered Haligi in 1803, wrote that it had funerary urns. But others entered by the hole he made in the roof, and all the urns are gone. No bones or ashes have been discovered in the six tunnels that modern archaeologists have examined. No remnants of grains have been found, perhaps because the soil is acidic. No ingots from mining have been discovered. This elimination of storage, mining or burial purposes has led some to speculate that they were perhaps ceremonial or religious structures where people worshipped gods, 